everyone, this is Gleb. Imagine you have a string and you want to check if it's a valid email. Doesn't mean it's a valid existing email, but just follows internet standards for an email string. Unfortunately, to validate a string using regular expression is very, very complex. Here is one regular expression that works for majority of cases. And as you can see, it's a nightmare. Luckily, browsers have a way of validating email. They have a you know, correct tested email regular expression built in. If you create an input field with type email, that's what's used to validate the current value. If you're using Cypress, you can use the built-in browser validation to check a string. And the way you do it is by creating a dummy element that's an input of type email. Let's say input, and we can use bundled jQuery to simplify creating of element of specific type with attribute. Type email, and let's not set the value just yet. And because jQuery collects elements, we need the first element to get the actual element, and we can set its value to the string we're trying to check. Okay. So what do we do then? Well, we can say value check validity first email. And we expect it to be true because uh, value input here, okay? Because we have a valid email. And if we remove this, then it's false, right? So because the element is not connected to the current page document, it's not gonna appear on the page. It simply exists in memory. And once the test finishes or this function finishes, then it gets garbage collected from memory. 